The most challenging thing about teaching drums. Mm, if you think about it, the most challenging thing in teaching in general, either for teachers, school teachers, college professors, or even music instructors as Zion, uh, the most difficult thing is how to approach the student. Your homework, my friend. For <laughs> students are different. Students vary their with uh, age, gender, ethnicity, everything matters. Sometimes as a teacher you get frustrated, as an instructor you get frustrated just because sometimes students don't do their assignments, they don't do homework, and so we can't have progress, we can't move any forward. You haven't done your homework yet. You haven't even practiced uh, for 20 minutes per day. Once, uh, I remember I was in Honduras, it was a couple of years ago, and uh, I used to give private lessons, uh, but I just decided I'm not going to drive to other places. If they want drum lessons, they'll come here to me. So a student came to my home and uh, this student just, he, we were practicing how to, how to just do strokes and he ripped the drum head. Yeah, he ripped the whole thing. So I was like, man, <laughs> you know, goodness. Now I need to make extra money to buy new heads, but okay, I think that's the price, right, of allowing students to come to your house and bang your, your drum set. So Jesus, actually just stroke. starting to bang One drums. Stroke. And uh, when, I was, uh, when I was a kid, uh, in fact, when I was born, uh, my mom had no choice. She was 22. So she had no choice, and it, well, no money actually, to live me with a nanny or, some, or somebody. So she decided to go into the music industry. And then uh, she became a singer, a professional singer, and she toured around Central America and everything with a huge band. That's good. Um, now, don't confuse my term band, because in America it would be like a rock band or something. Oh, no. Latin America, that's kind of a salsa thing. <laughs> a salsa band, merengue, bachata, you know, this Latin genres. And so, as she was performing on stage, I was just not even a year. Uh, and uh, a year old, and uh, I was sleeping as a baby in the musician's luggage, and the dancer's luggage as well. So uh, I think I developed my music aptitude from that. I decided to teach the drums just because music is a passion. Music is like sports. You get a passion for it, it'll give you aptitudes. See? So uh, both music and sports, they help you to stay more focused in life, to concentrate, to prioritize, to be disciplined in life. And uh, as I started to learn the drums, I, I felt the need to, to teach others. It was at age, uh, at age 14 that I started to give drum lessons, actually, in the first conservatory I studied. Music was, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not something that will give you uh, a lot of money in my country. So uh, that's why I'm double majoring in economics and political science. But still, see, I can't leave music behind. And I always got my parents' support, but just as a hobby. Well, my parents said that this, this, would, be, this would be nothing else but a hobby, but I ended up making like two or three bands in Honduras. And uh, just because I, need, I needed to work, I need to earn an extra money. I used to play in bars with uh, a couple bands. I used to be a studio drummer. I used to record for other bands and everything, or make uh, some drum beats or sounds. If you ask yourself, what is the first drum? What was the first drum? Just meditate on that fact, and you, you will guess that it's our hearts.